The more cars on the road, the more air pollution is produced and inhaled. The Maricopa County Travel Reduction Program, TRP, is dedicated to reducing single occupancy vehicle, SOV, trips and miles traveled to improve air quality and traffic congestion. Around 6.5 million commuter miles driven each weekday add significantly to regional air pollutants, ozone, and particulate matter. As part of the state of Arizona's response to a court ruling requiring greater efforts to reduce air pollution, the TRP is a mandatory program for employers with 50 or more employees who report to work three or more days per week, six months or more out of the year. The goal is to achieve a drive-alone rate of 60% or less in trips and miles traveled to each participating worksite. Employers are also required to survey their employees each year and offer incentives to encourage alternative modes of transportation for their daily commute. Now that you understand TRP's purpose, let's look at alternative modes of transportation commuters can use. These include public transit, carpool, vanpool, telework, bicycle, and walking. Let's learn about each one. Public Transit Valley Metro provides public transportation in our area. They offer express and rapid buses dedicated to commuters, run from suburbs into downtown, inbound only in the morning, outbound only in the afternoon. Fares cost more than local buses. Buses have bicycle racks for added flexibility. Local buses serve the entire valley. Transfers can add time. Buses run from approximately 4 a.m. to 2 a.m. Valley Metro Light Rail. Route currently runs from North Phoenix to East Mesa with expansions underway. 12 to 15 minute frequency. Trains have bicycle hangers for added flexibility. Streetcar. Tempe Streetcar is the first modern streetcar line in the valley. Serves one of the highest transit ridership centers in the region. Connects riders to neighborhoods, major business centers, and regional events and destinations. Bicycles are allowed. Not sure how to ride transit? It's easy. Find a route at sharetheride.com or on the Valley Metro app. Arrive at your stop five minutes early. Allow departing passengers to exit, then find a seat. Park and ride lots are handy if you're not within walking distance to your bus stop. Parking is free, first come, first served. Some lots have covered parking. They are not intended for overnight parking. Carpools, vanpools, and bus riders are all welcome to use the lot. Remember to ask your employer's transportation coordinator if your company helps pay for bus, light rail, or van pool fares. Many employers offer subsidized or free transit rides. What are the benefits of transit? Save money and relax while someone else drives. Reduce wear and tear on your personal car. Arrive rested and ready. Enjoy time for reading and relaxing. Carpool. Carpooling is flexible, friendly, and convenient. You can carpool with a family member or friend. If you don't know anyone who lives and works near you, you can register at sharetheride.com for help finding a carpool or vanpool partner. There's no charge and no obligation to use the system. Share the Ride is easy and safe. You can match only with coworkers if you choose. With thousands of users, you have a good chance of finding a match. What are the benefits of carpooling? It's easy, flexible, and saves money. Carpools can use the HOV lane on the freeway. The passenger can relax while someone else drives. Vanpool. A vanpool is a group of six to 15 people who commute together in a Valley Metro van. Each van is required to have a primary and alternate driver. Riders share the cost by paying a monthly fare that includes insurance, maintenance, roadside assistance, and the cost of fuel. Some employers provide a van pool subsidy to help lower the cost to employees. Check with your employer about this benefit. The van pool group establishes their own ground rules regarding route, stops, fare collection, assigned drivers, etc. What are the benefits of van pooling? saves money on your commute costs, including personal car insurance, helps keep our air clean and reduces traffic. Passengers save time by riding in the HOV lane and can relax, work, or visit along the way. Telework. Teleworking is working from home or remote location. Many companies have moved to a hybrid workforce, 
providing computers and holding virtual meetings. I mean, if you already made one, then we'll use it. Remember, telework counts as an alternative mode. It keeps a car off the road. What are the benefits of teleworking? Better work-life balance. A zero commute saves time and reduces pollution. Zero commuting costs. Reduces stress. Bicycle or walking? Bicycling is a great choice for short commutes or as part of a longer trip. Use Google Maps bicycle icon to show you safe routes and check them out in advance. You can also obtain a Maricopa Association of Governments regional bike map online at azmag.gov. You can ride your bike to the nearest transit stop or park and ride lot to meet with your carpool or van pool. Most transit centers and light rail stations have bike racks or lockers. If you are lucky enough to live close to your work site, consider walking to work. It's great exercise, saves money, and reduces pollution. What are the benefits of cycling or walking? Cycling and walking are ultra low cost and can improve your health. You can enjoy your workout on your way to work. For more detailed information about alternative modes, visit the Commute Solutions platform of sharetheride.com. Find carpools, van pools, transit routes, and more. Free to register. Use your work email for best matches to find others at your work site. Log your alternative mode trips and see your carbon footprint savings. Enter to win prizes, compete in challenges, and earn badges. Ready to explore an alternative mode? Ask your company transportation coordinator, TC, for more details, or visit www.sharetheride.com. For more on this or any other TRP-related topics, contact sharetheride at valleymetro.org or call 602-262-7433.